18. So I'm praying, say, I'll be able to finish it very fast. So they be able to my point. Understanding the Christian call. Understanding the Christian call. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. Now the Lord said, Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee. And curse him that curse thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Amen. The Bible might say, When you're a couple, she are young papa Abraham. No, and in a quiet palm. So, own finage your fee. Now, own remedy nature, baby, as I see our new young couple, a betrano, no new young couple, a betrano, or be money dear, I can see. Now, be money agree to the extent that everybody who blesses him will be blessed, and everybody who curses him, Abraham, God will curse him, not Abraham will curse the person. God himself will curse that person. And in Abraham, the whole earth, the whole earth shall be blessed. Amen. So see, it is important for us to understand that every call has a purpose. We are called as friends and family and even strangers for a reason. Sometimes we call people just for their attention or to check on them or to ask them a question or to get them to do something. The Christian call has a purpose, and we are seeking to understand this purpose in the study of Abraham's life. We are saying, say, sometimes, say, Obia or how bit me frail. Obia are no frail or pay attention, keke. Ebusa obibi. Obia also are no frail, no I can't say me be a day. A trail. Obia also are no frail, no I be be a here. A free one chanting that all frail. Now, so as a friend, Abraham, no, but I've been here or the other day, a friend. So, when you're a friend as workers in the high city church, no, when you're a but I be a or the other day, a friend, I offer a name says, I'll but I know, a bear day, a bebem. The Bible tells us in the book of Galatians that God, foreseeing that He would justify the Gentiles, first preached the gospel to Abraham. This clearly shows that. Our calling is quite comparable to the call of Abraham. The gospel was the first was first preached to Abraham for our sake. In Abraham, he first preached the gospel to him. And it was preached to him because God in his mind was going to save the whole earth. So God was going to save Gentiles. Hallelujah. That is why when he called Abraham, he preached the gospel to him. So that when we also come into the into Christianity, we also know that we have been called. Hallelujah. Because in Christianity, we are also Gentiles. We are not Jews. Amen. And God has called us for a purpose. Amen. Amen. Galatians chapter 3 verse 8 and 9. Galatians chapter 3, verse 8 and 9. And the scripture foreseeing that God will justify the hidden through faith, preach before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all the nations be blessed. So then, they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. Hallelujah. And to God already in his mind foresee that we are going to be called. You and I are going to be called. And we have, we have become the seeds of Abraham through faith. Hallelujah. And we are 
Inti na odi kan e ka gospel ni che Abraham. O ka che ni wi e no. E no hu se sa gospel na nkasa no. E no na ye gospel so we preach it to ye in the Gentiles so that we would be saved. Amen. And he's saying here that we want to look at the life of Abraham uh, and God's calling upon his life and and use it as an example for our own life. Amen. The first thing God needed from Abraham was separation. Separation. He called Abraham out. Because Abraham was somewhere. He was in his father's country. No one need your fear. Amen. Into no ohian into now was Abraham to me ten home. A free nipper fear. It was all to me ten home feet. Need your fear. Amen. Into the first thing he, uh, God needed was separation. God needed Abraham's total attention. He needed him fully. He didn't need Abraham so be friend na. I mean, Abraham can be Abraham because I mean, Papa called dream once because none of Papa your boss on for hallelujah, amen. It's you know, he separated him from his idols, amen. He separated him from the curses, hallelujah, or separating him from all these things. Said the Abaya, obey any attention and use him to build a nation and a great nation that onu nyango pon not or per se or build it, amen. So, I can't want say. He called Abraham out. He is calling us to come out of our family, our familiar places, out of and out of our cases, sicknesses, our old company, and the things we like, so that we'll be able to step into a new place. Amen. A place of abundance and greatness. Amen. We must step out of the old places, then the new. The new thing will begin. The Christian calling is a calling of holiness, separation, and change. He said, come out from among them, and I will be with you, and I will be your God. Hallelujah. So God is saying that we should come out from among them, come out from our familiar places, come out from our company. Some of us are not able to serve God because of the company we join, the kind of friends we have. Among yet, friends are, who will leave us for us to go and serve God? Hallelujah. And until you know, all God is saying is that he needs separation from us. If he needed separation from Abraham, then he needs it from us. When he called Abraham, Abraham didn't know where he was going. Even for us, we know the end. Because we know that Christ Jesus is the end. He has, um, he has made the ultimate sacrifice. So we know that when we, we come out from among our families and come to follow God, we are going into his kingdom. Amen. And in his kingdom, there is peace, there is joy, there is righteousness. And we'll be able to serve him there, serve him and serve him until we make it to heaven. When we open our eyes one day, we'll be in heaven. Abraham didn't have that hope. Only the only man said, brah. In the only man said, otu bata. Patrosi the American say. What the was going to be in full. But yet still, he came out. Amen. Because God said, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to make you a great nation. I'm going to give you a great name. Amen. So he came out and he followed. We have been called for a purpose. And we have been called to separate ourselves. I have separated myself unto God. That is when we come to that point. Then the second thing is we have been called unto greatness. We have been called unto greatness, not to shame. Not to shame. We have been called unto greatness. So we have been separated unto greatness. God needed to form a nation. And God needed someone. Hallelujah. So God needed someone. And God found that seed in Abraham. May God find that seed in you today in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will find that seed in me. So Bible says that he has called us out not to shame. 
but to greatness. Because when he called Abraham, he said, I will make your name great. He has called us from shame and disgrace to a place of grace and honor. When we come out to follow the call, we walk into greatness. Before God met David, he was a shepherd. After meeting him, he became a king. God is calling us to greatness. He will never reg- we will never regret the calling. Amen. So when God calls you, sometimes there is nothing calmly around you. At the end, you will become great. When God called David, he was a shepherd boy. Even the papa cried, kind of man, papa and kind of man. The papa said, Oh, sir, boy, no, oh, she, oh, she, we will done so, baby. My man and Ponchi, we saw on show. I told the American, I said, Eh, eh, ain't you know, now, so not young couple in one henny. Brand and papa so on all shame, yan and Ponchi, no. Then you may say, Oh, the old barber shame mine, oh, barber shame nipper. But I told the American, I said, You are going to become a priest, a king, and a prophet. Hallelujah. So when God calls us, he calls us unto greatness. So let us not be afraid of the call at all. Sometimes, no, eh, yeah, not, ye, 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 call, no. Obi say, eh, na, mi, ba, be, din, ya, mi, eh, chia, mi, di, mi, bi, bi, a, eh, be, se, kwa, ji, go, on, na, mi, eh, ni, de, na, wane, kachyo, se, be, ji, go, no, but most of the time, that is all we think. Ya, ji, say, oh, eh, ba, kwa, ji, go, on, wo, kwa, in, so, mi, hu, ba, kwa, chi, in, yo, but, de, bi, nyan, ko, pon, eh, man, in, kwa, ji, go, on, wo, kwa, in, so, hu, en, kwa, chi, wo, amen. If he say he is a God who is faithful to His word, say in po ni pati mi promise it, not trying the best to keep it. Uh, not the King of Kings, Hallelujah. When He calls you, He will keep His word. Inti nyami afraye in say ye medi nechi mesel me ma wakuma untu wa afraye fi eni wumu edi ye ba onemu baby a ye wano ye beti ye nino. Now we have been lifted to another level. Amen. Inti ama ye ama ye bu untu kra. I'm afraid you enjoy your friend so you enjoy so and too. If you say on your uncle Paul, obey your home juma, obey your home century. Amen. He has also called us to give us a great name, a great name, a great name. I see when God called Abraham, He promised him a great name. He said, "I will make your name great." God is calling us to influence and impact. He will make our name great. Even demons will acknowledge your name. The demon said to, the demon said, Jesus I know, Paul I know, but who are you? From today, no demon can ask you that question because God is going to make your name great. Hallelujah. Or see, he is going to make our name great. And then, Abraham, and fear be brave. So many years now, so see the Abraham, a young fat one, and my abo to toy him, yabo, yabo, et me toy and yam, hallelujah. Because young coponi say, young coponi Abraham, a day, a qua pam, and then young coponi say, now pam, a day, a year no cray, and untino, so young copon free Abraham. Now, for so many years, his team still has an influence, and the things he went through is still an example to encourage our faith. Then let us not be afraid. Nyami Frewi, he will make your name great. Hallelujah. When God called Paul, he was nobody. Hallelujah. He was a, just a man chasing after the, gent, uh, the Christians to kill them, to hand them to the Sahindri, to make sure they are destroyed. But when he met the light of God and the word of God came to him and he changed, his life was changed. Amen. Nessie, yes, Kasai, yes, Apostle Paul. And Apostle Paul said this. And Apostle Paul said this. I say, my maybe go come on. I say, poor Nenin send me and find your age, man. Your post. Poor Zebri, you know, who better be the age, man. Hallelujah. <laughs> but the truth is, everywhere we mention the name of Paul, there was something he was writing to encourage the church, to instruct the church, to admonish the church. God will make our name great. Hallelujah. Demons will be afraid of us, even if nobody knows my name. Demons who know my name. Amen. As for that one, they cannot resist it. Amen. Because when my daughter is sick, I will lay my hands on her stomach and I will cast out the sickness in the name of Jesus. And the demons, the demons will just be taken to their heels. They will start running. 
So we should know that God has called us to make our name great. Nobody will know me. You know, sometimes a big believer say Christianity is some queer religion. Be ah, and who name Fasobia? Now, so I just want you to understand: Christianity is not just a religion; it's a way of life. It's the kingdom life. Hallelujah! It's a life God has called us unto glory. And unto be dinya miyechia, won't say ye. Hallelujah! Wa brabo empimo ye. Amen. Obey a sofa, wa brabo empimo ye. Obey a dekina, wa brabo empimo ye. Rather, you are going to gain a name of greatness. Amen. Because God will work miracles and signs by your hands. Bible chair and say, Philip, when he was just a deacon, when he went into Samaria, and he was just a deacon, and the church, the Christian church got scattered abroad. He started working miracles in wherever he found himself. And until you know, when God calls us, our name will be great, and people will come to know Christ just because they hear our name. Amen. The next thing, or see, he has called us to fruitfulness. Fruitfulness. He has called us to fruitfulness. The first one, it can say, it's a God has called us unto separation. God has called us unto separation. He has called us to greatness. He has called us to give us a great name. He has called us to fruitfulness. Fruitfulness. God wants us to be fruitful. He is calling us from scarcity to abundance. Jesus came that we might have life and abound with life. This calling is a fruitful calling. He has called us to show us his glory. Go and bear fruit and fruit and your fruit should remain. So God has called us unto fruitfulness. Abraham, he was the only person now he was even stricken in age and nothing even looked like he will multiply and increase but not on your coupon friend hallelujah and bible my says even in his old age when he was 100 years and his wife sarah was 90 years they gave birth to a son and called him isaac and through isaac the the 12 tribes of israel was birthed forth hallelujah and until he has called us to fruitfulness, until no said, Yamia Frewa, and Yawon Quan, the end Kawon Quan, Hallelujah, and Kawon Quan, on Yanko Pond, your foot for a babble count, Amen. Wow, Yamon, ma, a babble count, and your foot for a and Yawon, our home, almost some babble, a babble count, Amen. So God has called us to increase and unto fruitfulness. So we should know that our Christian calling is also unto fruitfulness. You will not be left alone. You will be called to prosperity, not just fruitfulness in your body, but real prosperity, where you will prosper and men will fear you. Amen. And the Bible says that he has called us to bear fruit. He has called us to also evangelize and witness. Amen. To bring more people into the kingdom. Our fruits should remain. The people that we bring into the kingdom should be established. They should be um, established in the church. Amen. And we should see them grow and increase. Hallelujah. The next one is, our calling is a call of blessedness. A call of blessedness. A call of blessedness. God is calling us to come from under a curse of... To, uh, to, to come from under a curse to blessedness. God is calling us to restore back to us the blessing that was from, from the beginning. He is calling us to step into the blessing. God does not want any man to operate under a curse. He is calling us to step out of sicknesses, curses, poverty, hardships, and so on. God wants us to walk in a blessing. So God has called us unto blessedness. See, Nyangopon Fred Abraham, he was from an idol country. Until he was already cursed. Hallelujah. He was already cursed. No onim nyame. Ne abosum na ede, no awesome. Ye mu bebre wo hono ma. Se nyame anduma anfre ya. Nka bebi a ye nam no. Nka ye wun ka yasei. Hallelujah. Mi, 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 mi de debi a. Mi kasi mi de nyame asi se. Nyangopon Fred, mi mami. 
Because my grandmother was something else. Something else altogether. And running your man, your man, okay. And that was her life. Amen. But God called my mother. And when she called her, she, w- she went into the church of Pentecost and she, she came to know God. And she knew God for herself and started to seek God on her own and left her own mother, hallelujah, to her faith. But what I want you to understand is that if God has called us from curses, then he has brought us into blessing. He doesn't want us to go back again into the curse, hallelujah. So we should not return, we should not look back, but we should look straight on and know that we have been called into blessedness. He has taken us out of poverty. Please, remember, you are not poor, hallelujah. One thing I yeah, and I'm a person yeah, yeah, move a break, yeah, see, and he said, We are not poor. I always tell myself, I am not poor. I can never be poor. I don't know about you, but me as for me, I can never be poor. Maybe there'll be times that I might not have enough, but I serve a God who has everything. Amen. And I believe that He's able to give me all things. Hallelujah. And, you know, we have been called out of poverty, we have been called out of curses, until we are not returning back. Amen. Abraham did not return back. He looked straight forward to his calling. Into our calling. And we believe that we will be able to receive the full benefit of our calling in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And finally, we are called to be made a blessing to the world around us. To be made a blessing to the world around us. God told Abraham, in you shall the nations of the earth be blessed. In you shall the nations of the earth be blessed. In Tino, Eviase, Amame, Munina, Wo Abraham, Umu, and Amisha, Amame, Munina. In Tino, we have been called to become a blessing to the world. That means a young Casano, we carry a, a heavy load of blessing. Hallelujah. A blessing that is able to extend to other people, not just us. If I carry a blessing that is able to extend to another person, how can I be poor? How can I be cursed? How can I live in lack? No, it is not possible. Amen. I see. Finally, our calling is a calling to be a blessing to the world around us. It is more blessed to give than to receive. We are called to give. We are called to contribute to the health and prosperity of the world around us. Amen. So we are called to give. We are called to give out of the blessings that God has given to us. All the blessings that God has placed in our lives. We have been called to channel it out to others. Amen. If Hallelujah. No turning back. See, so on ante na me kwe me kosa anwa ye. Obe tofom. You you will sleep. The bem kwa na obe du. Eh eh. The bem kwa na obe du. Wa wound. Wa kwa kwa ino so kwa you can sleep and fall down. Inti e ngose ye she ye nchi. E ngose ye she ye nimti. Ye ma ye ni suche Christo. Anwa who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Ye ma ye ni suche no. Near who no say of friend our friend, one friend so be we any mercy. What friends or the ember call a we are attending into your pastoral calling, your calling at serving tables as being a deacon, your calling as being a deaconess, your calling as being a prayer leader, but your calling as leading the um the the so the the choir, everything that God has called you to be, God has a purpose for it. Into the person who now tears, yes, if you never quit. Ubefa will call you know, well title, hallelujah. A well title, pa na oku. Amen. You will take it with all your strength. You will not leave it for the devil in any way, but you are going to hold on to your calling and tell yourself that ye nya frame me, baby adimba to nam baby adimba to tell me mbobia, mebo pa na ma she go. Amen. Aha, into no. God should be our help and our strength. So that we'll be able to fulfill our Christian calling in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Pastor, 
pastor. I'm going to say, I'm going send a second message. Hey! I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Okay. Pitfalls we have to avoid in our Christian calling. Yo, Mate. <laughs> okay. Timbacho, the edi kanyo no. Yati ase. Timbacho, yati ase. Intini yeti kuye Christian calling ase. Okay. Let's look at the pitfalls we have to avoid.